Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase Pro 10.5, although this will work for basically any version of Cubase you have. Sometimes you run into problems with plugins not automating correctly. And in that instance, sometimes the easiest way to do it is to record one track into another. So print another track in real time. It's sort of like a render in place, but like for automation parameters like WAH, which I'm gonna show you here, it's a real lifesaver. So let's jump into the project. I have this, uh, you know, 12 bar blue segment here going on. And there's a lead, but I wanna add a wah to it. So let me just show you what's going on on the stomps. There's a wah here. And this is sort of what I want it to sound like. You get the idea. So if you notice, I had automation enabled and I had it enabled on the track. And yet, if we go to show used automation, it didn't write it. Uh, it didn't write anything. So how do I automate this? Well, I actually can't use the pedal. I have to draw it in, but I can say show automation right here. And then I have to find this parameter, wah. So you have to assign automation in amplitude, which is also a little bit obnoxious. So the wah parameter is parameter one, stomp A, wah. So it's it's automatable, it's just not, not working. So when you show automation, it'll look like this. Uh, you'll have your volume, that's the one that comes up. You have to click volume here, and then you have to find the wah parameter. So it's not any of these standard ones, so you have to go to more. And then you have to have go to inserts, amplitude four, parameter one, knowing that you assigned wah to parameter one. There you go. Now, let's try to record some automation. Nothing happens. So in order to record it, you're gonna have to draw it in yourself. Uh, and then you'll see that it works. But that's super clunky and it kind of stinks and it's hard to get the timing right without having physical access to the knob. And that's the only way I've been able to find to automate the wah in Amplitude 4. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe you can give me some advice. I just don't know why it's not working. So I'll show you an easy way to do this. We can turn off automation, bypass it here. Turn off the right. Uh, one way you can actually have the wah sound through and play it in real time is to record the lead to another track. And this isn't as easy as it is in a program like Reaper, but it's relatively simple. What we need to do is add a group track. So group, it can be mono because the lead is in mono. Um, the output can be to guitars, I guess. Uh, we'll call this wah guitar, wah lead. Wow, Rio. Okay, and we'll move it up here. Okay, so we'll actually send the lead, actually route the lead. Instead of from guitars, we'll route it to wah lead. Okay, so now this lead is going into wah lead. And then we have to create a new track on audio track. Uh, mono is fine. And we'll call this wah lead audio. Okay, we have Walid Audio. Uh, now, for the input, we select groups Walid. So what's happening is lead. Let's let's make these three bigger. Uh, I'll hide hide automation. So this track lead is going to be sent to this group track, and then from the group track, we're actually sending it in to this wah lead audio. So we can, uh, you don't get any control after the fact, but you can uh, record from one track to another. So let's just uh, try that out. We'll arm this for recording. We don't need these automations anymore. And we'll go for it.
All right, you get the idea. Um, and so now what we have is a printed uh, track that has all those wah moves. Now you don't get to edit them after the fact, so the performance is what it is, the way that music used to be. And uh, we can listen back to it, we'll mute the lead, and we'll just have the wah lead audio. And it works. So this is a simple way to route one track to another. What you do is uh, you have the output of the track that you want to record go to a group track. And then for the track you want to record it to, you have that group track be the input. And you'll basically print whatever effects you're using in real time on a new audio track. So this has just been a quick tutorial to show you something really useful. We're printing one track to another track while uh, messing with the effects in real time. It's useful for especially janky plugins where the automation doesn't work correctly, like Amplitude 4. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.